Hey folks, Martin here from Mobility Direct. Hope you're keeping well. If your mobility scooter isn't working, here are three things that you can check. Okay, so number one, if your scooter is making a beeping noise when you turn it on like this, Check that the freewheel lever at the back of the scooter uh, is in the drive or the locked position. Uh, this is going to depend depending on the manufacturer, but uh, in the case of a Pride scooter, you'll usually have a yellow lever at the rear of the scooter and you pull the, the lever back or away from the scooter to put into the drive or locked uh, position. What often happens is that if somebody wants to manually move the scooter, they'll put into the, um, the freewheel uh, position and then they forget to change it back and the scooter won't drive when it's in freewheel uh, mode. So we have one here. You see this is a Pride scooter, yellow lever. Uh, it's currently in, in neutral or freewheel. We pull it back, now it's in the, uh, the drive or locked position. You then need to turn the key off and back on and that'll reset it. Okay, so number two. So if your mobility scooter just suddenly stops out of nowhere and you can't turn it on and it's completely dead and there's no battery lights, etc., check the battery reset button on the front of the battery pack. Again, this is gonna depend, very on, the manu depend on the manufacturer. <clears throat> in the case of Pride, you usually have a white button, um, usually very close to the charging port and you press that button in and that'll reset uh, the battery pack. So essentially what it is, these battery packs have a type of trip switch. And what can happen is um, if the scooter, say if you're driving up like a really steep hill or if, or if there's a lot of gravel or if you accidentally drive off a curb, for example, that can cause the batteries to become under too much uh, strain or load and this trip switch will activate in order to protect the batteries. So essentially you just have to press that button in to reset it. Okay, so number three. So if you notice that when you're driving your scooter, it's not driving as far as it usually does and you notice that the battery lights are going on quite quickly or if the scooter has been laid up for a number of months then it is very likely that the batteries will have to be uh, replaced. If we supply the scooter then we can organize the battery replacement otherwise you need to contact your scooter retailer uh, or a local battery uh, supplier. Uh, hopefully these tips have helped solve some of your issues and if they haven't please get in touch using the comments below. All the best.